Hi everybody, welcome to another video from Play Hooray. So today I'm going to show you how you can dye rice. I have promised this to a few people that have been asking. Um, it's super easy, so I hope this helps. So, first of all, I'm going to show you that we are not only going to able to dye rice, but you can dye pasta, you could dye noodles, spaghetti, anything really. I find it um, is a really lovely sensory thing to have. I store mine in the cupboard and get it out again and again. So once you've made a batch, you probably set for a good few months. I've had my rainbow rice for at least six months and it's still going strong. So that's uh, just so you know. Um, okay, so I have got a packet of rice here, but I was going to show you, if you are going to do pasta, I find that the pasta shells are really nice and take the color really well. But if you're going to choose something with a more complex shape, like these little stars, I do find those quite tricky to get them completely covered. So just to warn you that my method might not work for if you're going to choose to do something like that. So the reason why I dye rice is, I do use plain rice as it is, but I find that having it coloured, it can really enhance sensory play. So you could put it in a baking tray or a nice big box, maybe like um, one of the under the bed storage boxes or a tough spot. And it's lovely for the children to feel, to pour, to use uh, with spoons and different tools and things. Or what I quite like to do is use it as part of role play. So you might want to do a load of rice green and use that instead of grass. Or you could have noodles or something instead. And then you could put your animals in with it. It just makes it look really nice. And another good one to do is blue, which is what we're going to do today. Because then you could put sea animals I'm going to do blue because it's coming up to winter, so I'm probably going to do quite a lot of winter wonderland and things to have some nice blue water. I think would look lovely against the white snow. Um, so that's it, really. There is another thing you could do, actually, is if you have rice in a baking tray, particularly for older children, it's good for them if they're starting to do numbers and letters. It's a good one to practice just using their finger and they can draw in the rice and you could, if you have some cards, and maybe draw out some simple letters for them, they could practice them in there. There are quite a lot of those on the internet at the minute. I've not done it with Mason just because he's still so young. Numbers and letters don't mean anything yet. He could still have a go at drawing, but I just don't feel it's really his thing. Um, but if you've got older children, you might want to try that one. When you're dyeing your rice, um, I have found that this is the best one that I use. So this is called Sugar Flare. It's a proper caterer's one. So I go to a catering shop not far from here and it is a little bit more expensive. Oh, it was four pounds for this one, but it lasts me ages compared to these little ones that you get from Tesco and Sainsbury's. They're about a pound and I don't find that they go very far. Um, so I've invested in these instead and I have these in my cupboard and I use them for play-doh I use them for dyeing the water I use them for all sorts so sugar flare is one to look out for you might be able to get it on the internet I, I don't know but I've already always got it from a shop just to say if you can hear that noise Mason's decided that he doesn't need to nap anymore so I'm just giving it a go so <laughs> that's just the reality of being a full-time mum and trying to do a video blog at the same time so let's get started. Right, I've got a cheap bag of rice here. If I was filling a tough spot, I must admit I would do ooh, um, five or six of these bags at least to get a good coverage. So I'm just gonna do one just to show you. Now I'm just gonna do one color just for the purpose of this video, but I do have, people may have seen on my site at the minute I'm using rainbow rice, which is where lots of I've done lots of colors and mix them up. If you're doing lots of colours, just have loads of Ziploc bags handy and just do the colours individually. So I'm just going to do one. So I've got a nice large Ziploc bag here and I've poured as much rice in as I need. I said I was going to do blue, so let's do blue. So when using the sugar flare one, I only use, you don't need a lot to be honest, for a good coverage. So can you see there, it's quite sticky texture. It's a bit like um, treacle, this one. So I'm going to put that in the bag. As you can see, I'm not using a lot, but it normally goes quite far. It does stain your fingers, this one. So just watch out. So once I put it in the bag, that's when I give it a good rub around. This is probably where 
um, Blue Peter would have one ready made, but we're not a Blue Peter, this is real life. I could have been more organised, but I've had a busy morning. So I'm just going to give it a good rub around. I put too much air in my bag, so I'm just going to squeeze that out. Give it a good rub. Can you see it's already starting to take the colour? Just making sure that it coats the rice evenly. Ugh. And I find as well with these ones that the colour is really vibrant. I have found some of the watered down ones, the cheaper food gels, um, it can be a bit pastely. So it just depends on the kind of colour you like. But I like things nice and bright. So can you see? We're already starting to get some blue rice. There's a bit there that I need to shake. But it doesn't take long. Good for the bingo wings. Get a shake. There we go. Okay, that's looking not too bad. I'd maybe do a little bit longer, but you guys are going to get bored in this video. There we go. I think that's probably about done. It's not too bad. Okay, so the next thing I do is I just use a baking tray or use a normal tray or something. And this is just greaseproof paper. And I just line the tray. Easy peasy. I'm going to pour it out onto the tray. And this is where you can check for any blobs. I do find with this one, because it's like, like I said, it's like a treacle. It sometimes sticks in blobs. You can check and you can always spoon those out if you don't need them. So all I'm doing is spreading out. You can see. Ooh. There, there's a big blob there where it's not mixed properly. I'd just take that out. Otherwise, that's never going to dry. Okay, so that's my rice ready there. You see, it's quite a lovely colour. It's actually turned out quite well for doing water, to be honest. It's gone more of a turquoise colour. Um, and all I'm going to do now is leave that overnight to dry. And in the morning, it should be okay to play. Just to warn you that it can sometimes, if it's not dried properly, it can come off on the children's fingers. It always washes off. But as you can see, I've already got a little bit on me. And it is quite good at staining. So that's the glamorous side of messy play. So I'd leave that out, leave it to dry overnight. And then you've got some coloured rice. It is really lovely when you, if you do lots of colours, to display it as a rainbow in the box. It looks really effective, really inviting. It won't last very long. They'll soon have it mixed up, but I just leave it mixed up. I think it looks lovely. Um, and I've got, I haven't got enough time to sit and pick out all the different colours, but you might. Um, I would then, if I was going to store that um, after we've used it, I use an old formula box. I find they're really good with the... Um, clip lids on or it could just go back in a Ziploc bag and I keep my Ziploc bags and I reuse them just because I'm quite often dyeing play-doh and different things for all the different colours. Okay I think that's about it. Oh one more thing I was going to say if you are starting to introduce colours to your children I picked up these little balls from B&M stores I don't know if you know that but it's quite a cheap shop um, I think they're about a pound one pound fifty and I picked them up because they're all different colours and I thought they'd be good for colour sorting. So if you were going to do a whole range of maybe pasta shells or something in the different colours, they could pick them out and sort them and you've got a colour sorting activity, nice and easy. And actually they're handy to have for anything really. I find those always worth having in the cupboard. I bring them out for all sorts. Okay, so that was a quick run through, but I hope I've shown you it is super easy. I definitely recommend Sugar Flare. I'm going to show you that one more time so you can see that's what I use. And yeah, I'd love to hear how you get on. If you do any, please take some photos for me. I'm going to go get Mason out the cot because he obviously doesn't need to sleep. Even though I've got loads to do, but never mind. All right. Thank you very much for joining us today and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.